Hello everybody, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today, we are continuing our series where we're taking the International Cab over from Key West, Florida, up the East Coast of the United States. And this time, this run, we're going from Fort Lauderdale to Orlando. The trip looks like it takes about 256 miles, 4 hours, 24 minutes in game time. So let's get fired up and let's get going. All right. Get out of the dock here. I'm already loaded up, ready to head out. Wasting no time. Oh, that is definitely a left I was signaling. Let's uh, let's go right instead of left. Swing it out of here. Hopefully everybody is having a fantastic day, wherever you may be. As I like to say to the, the folks that are not in the United States, happy time zone to you. Hopefully you're having a fantastic time zone. Turn left. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of the city, hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't take us too long to get out of the city. We can get up on the highway, get up to Orlando. Slow down. Left, and then turn left. Check our mirrors. Turn left. Currently in game, it is twenty one oh four, which is you know, 9.04, 9.04 p.m. In one of my previous episodes, I was talking about the gauges on the dash of this truck, and definitely at night, you can definitely see the gauges a lot better, so we can see the speedometer and all that. So that's good. Very, very helpful. Get ready to turn right. We do not need gas right turn now. Right. the interstate we go. could have stayed in that one lane. Man, after going like 30, 40 mile an hour in the game, it feels like you're absolutely flying when you get up to 70. I 
I'm I'm actually really enjoying this this series that we're doing here with going up and down the east coast of the US. I think it's just great, you know, like that we have this mod and we can do that, you know, just to, to showcase it a little bit, showcase some of the other mods and I think eventually we'll head back over to the west coast and maybe do this with the west coast but with a, either the same semi or a different semi. That way we get some of the SCS, SCS locations in there instead of just, you know, the coast to coast mod stuff. And if you're interested in driving this semi, and you like cab overs, I'm going to have it linked in the description below, like I've done in the other couple videos on this one. I try to link the the cab over or semi that I'm driving. I try to link it down in the description. So if you if you enjoy the mod, you can you can go ahead and just uh, download it yourself and try it out. Say we're getting a little bit of a traffic jam here. Oh boy. I thought he was jumping over in our lane. Go straight. This should mostly be all highway mileage. So it shouldn't take too long, you know, going 70 miles an hour. It's always nice to just sit back, drive ATS, listen to the sound of the engine, and you know I, I enjoy that while I'm driving as well. Just I play music, but it's always nice to just get out when I have to drive places and just enjoy driving instead of being in the house. Go ahead and get over here. my job I work from home every day so it's always nice to just get out and do things other than just being in the house you know a little dark <laughs> a little dark out here kind of well it's coming up on 11 o'clock in the game. I was doing the math in my head. I use Sim Dashboard with one of my old Android phones and it has like time, fuel mileage, you know, what, how fast you're going, your average miles per gallon, how much time before you got to rest, uh, destination, disc distance till you hit your destination and how much in-game time that should take. So the time for it is actually in military time and I always have to do a little bit of math to figure out what the normal, you know, 12 hour time is instead of 24 hour. And I've, I've showcased it in one of my other videos, the Truckee app, which is just the overlay on the right-hand side of my screen, which I use during our convoys and whenever I play uh, American Truck Sim on, on Twitch. Sorry, I'm just trying not to... Sometimes I stutter through my stuff and it's because I'm, you know, kind of concentrate <laughs> on driving and not, and not wrecking or I'm listening to the... GPS guy talk or something like that. So, but anyway, yeah, it, it, the Truckee app. If you don't use it, just in your game, just normally, I su I highly suggest using it. It's it a lot of information. You know, you, you get to know how far, how how long of real time, like IRL time, it's going to take to get from one place to another.
very customizable, all that stuff. Works in Trucker's MP, all that. So, I know I'm leaving my brights on, but it's super dark and I can't see the road without it. And we're just over halfway there, too. I know I've said it before, but definitely playing this game, driving through Florida, just makes me want to go to Florida. Um, hey, Walt Disney World. Fine. EDD moment. I mean, you have the whole hurricane issue, but being from the northern U.S., if there was a hurricane, I can, theoretically, I can just leave and come to Indiana and be safe up here. If it was, you know, if I lived in Florida and it was going to hit me, I have family up here, so. Keep right, then exit right. Exit right. Nice clover leaf here. We can't take that exit. Turn right. A little bit of the Jake break in there. It's such a nice, nice cruise right now. Nice and relaxing. Right. Then exit right. Right turn coming up here. Exit we'll... right. Probably didn't even need to <laughs> reduce my speed there just full send that sucker. I don't normally drive at night. I usually make it so we're during the day, but I figured, you know, we're Keep right. Then exit right. Mm, this one. Yeah, exit that was confusing. Right. Oh, yeah, like I was saying, I don't normally drive during the night, but with this series, I figured we might as well treat it as consecutive, consecutive days. Right. A little bit of a traffic jam here. Exit right. I have a feeling in real life this would be a stop sign and not a yield sign. I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. Wait for these these cars. Now we got a few of them coming. 
Some good one on our left. Could be good after this guy. Agency, and here we are at the Wallbirds. Turn right. Bring her out here a little bit so we can get in there. We and see here. where they want us to put it. Now drop the load and go. <laughs> <laughs> I bet the GPS guy says that to all his ladies. All right, so we're in the back. Let's go ahead and <laughs> take it back there. I'm guessing we can go either direction, so... I guess we'll find out. Tight space back here. This should be a good one. Not that much room here. Hey, look at that cab over sitting there. That's cool. I'm really glad I put that mod in here. Because it looks really good. Just seeing the other cab overs and things like that. Okay, let's... uh. See if we can swing her in here. Now follow the trailer, as they say. Straight back. Oop, wrong button. We'll pull up a little bit, get us completely straight here. I know that I know that they said we were good, but we'll get it straight in. All right. There we go. And let's see how we did. 257 miles, 5 hours and 34 minutes, 35.2 gallons of gas for a profit of 18,580. That's pretty good. All right, that's going to do it for this episode of our East Coast journey. Tune in next time when we head from Orlando and we keep going north. Thank you so much for hanging out. Have a great day, and y'all take care.